Hi guys, it's time for another episode of Fanatics Fish Storytime. I hope you're excited and ready for another great story. Today we're going to see the grouchy ladybug. We're going to get a chance to meet more rabbit snails like this one you see here. And we're going to have a fun song. Today we're reading The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carl. This is another one of our favorite books. The Grouchy Ladybug. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. See the moon? At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? says good morning. This one says go away. If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other ladybug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It pulled itself up and flew away. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Right down there, a, 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 see how small that is? A yellow jacket. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Ah, uh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Ah, uh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and off it flew. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, the sparrow opened its sharp beak. Ah. Uh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching out its claws. Oh, well, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Ah, uh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. It's probably a good idea to fly off and put your face with a skunk. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Ah, uh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Ah, uh, 
they're not big enough. So the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? Roar, if you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Ah, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? But the whale did not answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey you, wanna fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. The grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fan, Hey, you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you, want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap, that it flew across the sea and across the land. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it started from. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet tired and hungry ladybug. Thank you. You're welcome. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both ladybugs and they went to sleep. The fireflies who had been sleeping all day came out to dance around the moon. So that is one of our favorites. I love, love the part of this book where that whale tail gives that ladybug a slap so fierce that it flies across the ocean and the land and lands right back to where it started. See how little the ladybug is compared to the whale's tail. Teeny tail. tiny, and it took it such a long time. There it is flying all the way back to the land with a lighthouse. Have you ever felt grouchy like the grouchy ladybug, my friends? Have you ever felt just like growling and picking a fight? And then realizing, hmm, maybe they're just not quite big enough. Or maybe it's probably not a good idea. And maybe we get to just choose kindness instead. So my friends, I would like to have you try on some kindness this week and see when you feel like a grouchy ladybug how often you can turn that around and flip it with your own tail and say you know what i'm going to choose kindness instead so i hope you had a fun time with the grouchy ladybug and i hope that you turn your grouchy ladybug into a thankful ladybug and i hope you have a fabulous week so thanks for joining us at fanatics and fish story time and we hope to see you again bye bye Hi Fanatics friends, are you ready for our song today? This one is The Little Brown Bear and it goes like this. A little brown bear went grr grr one day. A little brown bear went grr grr one day.
little brown bear went grr, grr one day and they all went grr, grr, grr. But we know little brown bears go huggy, hug, hug, huggy, hug, hug, huggy, hug, hug. Little brown bears go huggy, hug, hug. They don't go grr, grr, grr. Did you like that one? I'm so glad you joined us today, friends. I hope you enjoyed the Little Brown Bear song. We'll see you again next week. Rabbit snails are one of the most cool group of snails in all of the world. They call them a rabbit snail because as they pull forward with their uh, shell, it kind of looks like they jump like a rabbit. Also, they got the long antenna that kind of look like rabbit ears. Got the little alien faces are just so cute as they mosey along. They're from the island of Sulawesi in Indonesia. Uh, each different stream or lake has its own different rabbit snail. Sulawesi is a mountainous island, so from the top to the bottom of the island is very different habitats, different uh, rainfall, different temperatures, and that's why there's so many different types. These ones are the golden rabbit snail. I have them in my planted tank, but I've been really specific about which plants I put in with them because they'll actually eat some different types of plants. I also have different types, including a golden or a yellow rabbit snail that doesn't eat plants. I've got a black one with white spots. I've got one they call blue. There are dozens of different types of rabbit snails. Here are some of the other types of rabbit snails that we have. Notice that each one with a different color has a different colored shell and a different colored body. They have the overall same shape with the ears and they do the little hopping motion but they have a different texture to their shells. Such an interesting group. They don't breed till they get about two years old and they have boys and girls, the snails, not all snails have boys and girls but rabbit snails do. And they have live babies when they have their young their little babies will pop out there'll be a little pill with a cow on it and they'll just slime away. The cow is what they call like a, almost like an eggshell but it's more like a, a sack for these guys. Here's a little baby. It takes them two years to get big enough to start having babies of their own. And unlike some of our snails that are fairly short-lived, uh, rabbit snails can live a really long time. I have one of my biggest snails in there that I've had for a couple of years and he was five years old and then somebody gave him to me so he's got to be at least seven, at least seven years old and he's like four inches long. Look at the beautiful shells. Each different species has a little different color shell. You see the white spots in the shell, that's a little bit of pitting. They need quite a bit of calcium in the water keep them in good shape. I should probably add uh, some Wonder Shell, which is a calcium supplement to make sure that their shells stay in good shape. That could be old pitting for this guy. He's been around a long time. Pitty, pitty baby. It's so tiny and so cute. And yet that one's actually a couple months old already. Let's see if we can find any tiny babies. These little ones are a different type of snail. That's not if I can find you. The little pills that are the babies. There's another little one. There's a little shell. There's a little one. There's one right now. That's a trumpet. There's a little one up there. This guy's about three quarters of an inch long, so he's probably nine months or a year old. Like I said, it takes about two years for them to get big enough to start having babies of their own. They start having babies when they're about two inches. So he might only be six months old, but I'm going to guess he's probably closer to nine months. Not a very fast growing species and they will not infest your tank. That's why they're popular as a pet snail. Unlike some other types of snails that will eat your plants and take over your tank, rabbit snails are safe to have. And if you ever end up with a few babies, that's a happy event. They only have a baby about every three or four weeks, uh, one at a time, live babies. We sure enjoyed bringing you this episode of Fanatics Fish Story Time. 
The Grouchy Ladybug is one of our family's favorite stories for a long, long time. I hope you guys get a chance to enjoy it over and over again. Rabbit snails are such an interesting creature. I hope that was something you enjoyed learning about today. And always enjoy bringing you guys a song. Next week, we'll be back with another episode, another book, another species to introduce you to, and another song. See you then.